Okay, tell me your name and your affiliation and what you're doing here today. I'm Rob Gore from Occupy Austin. We're here at the Woodridge Apartments because people are living in a death trap and we don't think it's right. <laughs> tell me about what you've seen. You've been involved with Woodridge for a while now. How's, how's this process gone? Um, it's taken a, a lot longer than I think it should have to get the city stirred up into doing something like this. Uh, the, a, a balcony fell down. They should have been out here with this kind of force that day, I think. So we've been kind of pushing for something like this to happen. And, and I mean, here, here it is. Here's, here's a win for us. Uh, uh, one of our goals has been met. They're out here anyway and paying attention to it. Now, uh, the bigger issue than, than just Woodridge is uh, there's, there's, there's a, you know, five other Woodridge complexes out there that we know of that, that we just tracked down today so um, I mean there's how many more than that we don't know yet but that's the thing is we want ultimately out of this to the city to have a policy that, that prevents this stuff from happening buildings should not be in this kind of disrepair when people are paying rent to live there and it's up to our city to make sure that these, these landlords are keeping up with their properties. Have you been meeting with the city council? Tell me a little about the city council meetings you've had. Uh, we had one with Cheryl Cole. It went very well. She was very interested. We weren't able uh, to get all of our points across with Ms. Cole, but um, she, she was on board with everything we did get across with her. Uh, yesterday we met with uh, Bill Spellman, and uh, that, that one went... Uh, better as far as getting most of our information across to him and what we want. Um, it's funny to me that Bill Spellman assured us he was going to get a hold of code, the guy in charge of code compliance yesterday after our meeting. He said, well, I'm going to go and get this guy on the phone right away. And, uh, and now they're out here today. <laughs> so, what, what would be your ideal outcome, uh, you know, from your perspective for, the, for this situation, for Woodridge and also just for the city? Um, the, the city doesn't want to spend any more money. And I don't think they should have to. Look at the force that's out here today. If, if one truck, I, I'm assuming each truck here holds two people because of the amount of officers that are here. If one truck went out to every one of these buildings and just did a walk around, in, in, in ten minutes, Mike checked the electrical on, on four or five of these buildings and found problems on every one of them. If they had two guys go out and spend a whole day just walking around and getting structural issues, not even walking inside, that would be a, a partial win for us, right? They wouldn't have to spend any more money to do it. They would, they'd be able to and, and rein this in. That, that's the thing. We're dealing with two problems here. We have to rein in what's up already bad, and then we have to prevent anything else from ever happening again, ever, anything from ever going this bad again. So uh, it's a long-term thing. I, I, think, uh, I think the goal is righteous. I think, I think uh, it can be found. The city's perspective is there's no more money to be spent, and uh, our perspective is if, if you don't spend it on taking care of your citizens, what are you going to spend it on? Um, All right, well, thanks, thanks for talking to me today, Rob.